hi guys hi family members how are you guys doing today i hope you guys are super blessed okay welcome back again to my channel it's your baby girl lady nora if this is the first time you're seeing this beautiful face please do not make it your last by subscribing to my youtube channel liking my video share to your family and friends okay thank you for doing so let's just drive into today's video it's quite interesting i hope you guys will learn from it I'm basically going to be talking about um, the things that I supposed to do differently like I regret doing it but if I was given a second chance I could have done it like totally differently the other way around yeah so I'll be talking about the regrets that I had doing those things and if I know more better like I know now I could have done it quite differently so yes and secondly I will be talking about um, the basic things facts the basic facts you guys need to know why coming to china because i get a lot of dm a lot of people asking me they want to come to china I basically have to tell you guys facts you need to know you need to do exactly before coming to china okay so i just read, wrote it out and i'll be reading like i have like five points or thereabout so i'm gonna be reading out the point and try to emphasize in each and every one of them so the first point that i have here is the rightful agent i feel like the agent they play a whole role when someone wants to come to china or travel outside country in general yeah that is going to use an agent to travel outside the country you could have least do some research on your own to know some few documents you're going to provide so whenever he's telling you to provide these documents at least you know yourself this is the rightful document to provide yeah and um most importantly guys you have to provide those documents by yourself do not allow anyone to do stuff for you you just need to persist and do it yourself along the way you are learning um whenever your family members or your friend or your sister they want to travel outside the country at least you can give them advice on things on some most important documents to provide so yeah it's helpful to you okay so this is the first um fact that you should know why you want to travel any country very important keep notes so we're gonna go for the second point when you are done with the whole processes and finally you are you are here in china or there wherever you are which country you are i think you should um, be able to interact with people fast like as quick as possible you interact with people if you have families you interact with them try to for them to let you know the system of the country you are in now, when i arrived here in china it was so hard because you know i'm kind of like a shy person but at the end of the day i interact with my friends and it was actually my friends who helped me a lot to to understand the system how the system works um most importantly they they taught me how to use my phone <laughs> yes basically you're using your phone here for every single thing you're using your phone for transportation you're using your phone for payment phone for apps a lot of things if you want to buy things online you're going to basically use your phone so they are the one who taught me those important stuff so when you travel outside the country you have to mingle fast you know to learn the basic things yeah it is very important guys so keep note of it most important thing you need to know is a lot of payments in china you're basically like you are working so hard each day you know trying to survive at the end of the day you're paying back all the money to chinese <laughs> it's so like how is this happening but this is just happening over and over again so you're going to know that i'm coming to china my pocket needs to be full i mean you're coming to any country at all your pocket needs to be full you're not saying maybe for like six months or a year at least and then you can get back to your feet yeah 
but eventually you're going to spend a lot of money so get prepared <laughs> well guys the last but not the least thing i'm going to be talking about is job offer um i mean when i was coming to china my friend that was like an agent she was actually telling me there's a lot of um job opportunities that i can get a job as quick as possible so when i arrived <laughs> god i tried <laughs> oh more like everyone else <laughs> i tried so possibly like i tried a lot to get a, just one job just one it was so hard so i get to learn that um in china if you being a student you're not obviously going to work you are a student you're coming with a student visa you are obviously going to be studying not working so you have that back in your mind that i'm i'm a student and i'm coming to china to study i'm not going to look for any money do you understand so at the end of the day i'm not discouraging you that china is a bad place to to stay or to study or to start your life over i'm just saying you just need to be prepared for what it comes with if you are with a working visa then you are permitted to work however wherever you like maybe a company assigned you back in nigeria that um that they are going to sponsor you and you get your working visa at least you're under a company do you understand so you're getting your working visa when you come here you can literally work okay so if eventually you're working eventually you're favored to have a job finally and the police get to find out that you're working oh my babe they are deporting you so you should know that so if you're working here in china you if you don't have your working visa you need to be extremely careful yeah you can actually be doing your businesses secretly so that no one knows that you're doing your business so actually this is the most regretful part i could have known better or asked around but i was just so eager so you know my blood was hot to come to china so i couldn't verify all those things but i'm just too happy to tell you guys about those things so that um if you're eventually going to come you not make the same mistake i made and you do your thing differently thank you guys once again for tuning in i hope you you learned one or two things yeah thank you so much i appreciate you guys for your time please guys this is very important i'm trying to make a living here <laughs> So try try as much as possible to subscribe to my YouTube channel, you know, comment, share to your family and friends, you know, all those good stuff. Let's keep winning and I will see you guys in my next video. Love you guys so much. Bye.